Hello everyone, this is Amber from tarotandtorch.com and I am here to do an unboxing for you today. It's been a really long time since I have done any kind of unboxings and I have a bunch of beautiful oracle decks here. So I thought that I would show you my latest decks and open them with you um, kind of, you know, on video and share my thoughts and how I feel that they work out. I decided to get um, more uplifting kind of oracle decks. Um, I do a lot of shadow work, but lately I've also been doing a lot of angel and guide work. So I thought that I would get some decks to kind of reflect this and help me um, kind of tap into that energy both with myself and with my clients and I find that these types of oracle decks work really well um, for this purpose. So if again if you don't know me my name is Amber and I have a website called tarotandtorch.com where I it's mostly a blog where I share my um, kind of intuition insights that I get from guides and I also share a lot of kitchen witch tips. I am a kitchen witch and I also am a professional tarot reader, and my services are all online. Okay, so let's get into this beautiful deck. I love these pictures on the back of what the cards look like. So we have a box that opens from the top. There's a protective sheet that is covering it. Okay, this is the guidebook. Okay, we have a beautiful picture on the back of a triangle with an eye, the psychic eye. The guidebook has very nice paper quality. Inside me is a door to the infinite. I take the time to go to my heart center and link up with heaven. In this serene place, I am eternal. Through this inner journey, I am able to see beyond life's challenges and reach the higher levels of my existence. My inner light is my greatest strength and greatest wealth. Okay, and so there is a contents table for each of the cards with their page numbers. So the cards do not seem to be in alphabetical order, but they are numerical in order. Okay, there is an intention setting and welcoming kind of introduction and how to use the cards. And there's a beautiful picture of this radiant being here. Very pretty. Okay, more kind of instructions on how to use the deck, how to shuffle the spreads. There's some spread layouts rainbow chakra spread that one looks interesting okay and then we have the card messages with another beautiful picture okay so the guidebook is in black and white and there is a short description of each of the cards inner calling Comfort. So I'm not going to go through all of these in the guidebook since they are the same as the cards themselves. And there's About the Artist and some other decks in the back. So let's look at the cards. I absolutely adore this um, back image. This is one of the reasons why I was drawn to the deck because I saw the back in a, another video and I decided that I had to have the cards even if it was just for the back image. 
um, especially because I read cards every day for my clients. Um, I need to have a deck that is captivating and interesting because it does get very monotonous if I am using the same decks or decks that don't have interesting um, backs. I just messed up my nail polish. So there's a nice kind of gloss to the cards. So this is the first card, Higher Consciousness. I'm just going to try to do a flip through. Inner Calling. Because this is my first time seeing all of the cards. Comfort. Here and now. Releasing. Fulfillment. This is gorgeous. This almost reminds me of a Thomas Kincaid painting, just how beautiful the light and the colors are here. Harmony. Power. Health. Higher thought. I am creator. Never alone. Truth. Positive intention. That's another very gorgeous painting image. Awareness. I like the cosmic feel to a lot of these cards. Door to the infinite. Growing. Believe. And this card is interesting because it shows more of a mother nature or mother universe vibe um, than you would expect to see in an angel deck. Application. Light, love this one, it's very witchy, right up my alley, opportunity, this also seems very protective to me, inner child, Gorgeous. Learning. Joy. Eternal light of love. Interesting that we have the zodiac signs all around. We have an angel who could be Archangel Michael with a sword. Beautiful. 
inner piece, again with the gorgeous kind of doorway that allows you to kind of step in and become one with the picture and really, you know, utilize the energy of the card. I love that. Heaven's door. These are good portal. This is a good portal deck to work with. Angel whispers. Awakening. Beautiful. Energy. This is also a really nice deck for the springtime and the summer. I don't know about you guys, but my energies shift during the seasons. Receptivity. And I like to have different decks for different seasons. Moving towards the light. There's just a breathtaking way that the light is incorporated into these drawings. Success. Liberation. And there's the picture that was on the, in, on the back of the guidebook. Initiation. I definitely get a very new age vibe from this deck, which is a little unexpected and um, surprising, pleasantly surprising. Source of life. I am beautiful. Transformation. Blessing. Strength. I love the sword in the crystals. Also referencing the power of the earth and crystals and energy along with the might of the divine. Infinite potential. Letting go. Ascension. Believe in dreams. So that is all of the cards. I'm going to try to just do a test run with one card to see what message that we can get collectively and so that you can see how the guidebook reads with this. So angels, ancestors, guides, what message do you have for the collective right now? What message? What is the message? I guess we'll use this card that fell out. Positive intention. Okay. Okay, so that is number 14. Everything that happens to you and everything that comes to you in life is the result of an intention, a seed planted at some point in the past that is now coming to fruition. Be conscious of the seeds you are planting today with your thoughts, energy, and actions to ensure that your dreams and desires can become a reality tomorrow. Remember, we reap what we sow. And then there is a affirmation, which is really nice. I am aware of all that I create around me. I abundantly fill my life with love, light, and love. From all the seeds of light I sow, I will harvest the greatest riches. Okay. 
So that, that is beautiful. I love the affirmations. Um, that is very helpful um, when doing readings for yourself or for others because you can just use those affirmations in a very practical way. So I like that um, there is the keyword at the bottom. The artwork, of course, is stunning and very colorful. Um, really will add color to any reading and will also um, change the vibe of the reading, I feel, as well, to something that is very positive. Because um, lately, you know, there has been a lot of different energy in the collective that is a little bit challenging uh, when doing readings. And so these types of cards will just add something that the client can do to empower themselves and to feel more at peace with their life and what is going on with them. So I really, um, I'm really loving this deck just for the everything, the colors, the messages at the bottom. Um, and it is something that can be worked and applied to many different situations because the keyword is not so uh, specific that it takes away from the rest of the reading and the messages. So I feel that this deck will be good for a lot of different types of people, um, that anyone could really use it, and there's just a lot of gorgeous imagery here to really captivate and hold the attention of um, those that you're reading for. And I just, I, I'm still so enthralled with the back of these cards, you know, uh, on a table setup, it's just going to look stunning. I love it. So you guys will see these um, in client readings. If you do get readings from me, you will see them. And I have many other decks here as well that I will try to do videos for. I don't know how patient I will be uh, with that because I kind of just want to open them and start um, reading with them, to be honest. Uh, but I have the magical spell cards, magical herbs, and power of love. So we'll see if I get around to doing any more of those videos um, before I start using them. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this has helped in um, showing you the cards, and I hope that you can see them clearly. So many blessings to you. And again, my website is tarotandtorch.com. And you can find information about witchcraft, tarot, and everything um, interesting in between. And I will do readings. Um, I have an Etsy store that I do my readings from if you are interested in purchasing a reading from me. And I hope that everyone has a blessed day. You will have some more videos coming up from me. Um, in the future, I'm going to be more active with this channel. So many blessings to everyone. And have a wonderful afternoon.